This video is on the integrating essential skills component of rational numbers. And when we're talking about rational numbers, the definition we have is this is a number that can be expressed as the quotient or fraction of two integers. You may have a question on this that's related to rational numbers in that it may give you a set of numbers and say tell, you know, choose which is a rational number or which is an, an irrational number or it may tell you to only use rational numbers in your calculations. So we need to know a definition of rational numbers. Here are some things you can keep in mind when you're thinking about rational numbers. If it's harder to keep up with the definitions, sometimes just knowing some examples will help you to remember what you're looking for. So here are some of those examples. When we're talking about rational numbers, we're talking about whole numbers. They can be integers, they can be positive, they can be negative. We're talking about fractions. That's part of the definition. One third, negative seven eighths. Again, positive or negative. Any kind of decimals that are finite, that have a distinct endpoint, 0.97, even something like 0.21 with the bar over it, which means it's a repeating decimal, the 212121 is repeating, that is a rational number. And that's because we can turn that into a fraction. A perfect square, when we take the square root of a perfect square, because the square root of 9 in this case is 3, that gets us back to the integer value 3. So perfect squares, when we take the square root of that, those are rational numbers. In turn, an irrational number. So we have some good examples for that. Anything that's not a perfect square, when we take the square root of 11, our answer, if we were to plug that into the calculator, we're going to get a non-ending decimal after our whole number, our whole number and decimal. Okay, so the decimal point goes on without repeating. We cannot write this as a fraction. Another prime example of an irrational number is pi. That's, that is a 3.141589. It goes on and on and on without repeating. Pi is a perfect example of an irrational number. You can keep that in mind. So let's take a look at an ACT type example question. Pause the video here, work this, and then come back to it and we'll work it together. So the question asks, which of the following is not an irrational number. So sometimes the wording of these questions make us have to stop and think. So we're saying which is not irrational. So when this question asks for not an irrational number, we're actually looking for a rational number. A number that is irrational is not a perfect square. The square root of a perfect square would make a rational number and that's actually what we're looking for. Remember, not an irrational means looking for a rational. That gets the answer to be option E, answer choice E, the square root of 9, which when we simplify that is 3, a rational number. 